Hey, you just missed 55 Agility. Welcome back to a brand new video on Dead Man Mode Tournament. This is day two, and the stats are looking pretty decent still. Of course, they're not going to go anywhere in a day, are they? But thank you guys for checking out the last video if you did. If you're new to this one, go give that one a watch. But the general plan for this Dead Man Mode Tournament is to try and get Monkey Madness done. Now, this video, I'm hoping to get all the stats done, and then hopefully by tomorrow... I'll be doing the quest. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. But I've got 69 Slayer out of the way. Just completed the agility portion of that. So if I have a look. Let's pull it up here. Monkey Madness 2. The requirements. 60 Hunter. 55 Thieving. Those are pretty chill. And then 70 Crafting. I'm gradually banking Soda Ration stuff on an alt to try and do Molten Glass for that. And a load of quests. Fun times. Right, I've got 47 Hunter. So now we can go and hunt Orange Sally's. Bit sketch you doing, Hunter, because you're out in the middle of fucking nowhere. But yeah, hopefully there's no one camping the desert. Also, just planting a few oak trees on the alt so I can train up to 30 farming. Because you need willow branches to do Enlightened's Journey. And you need 12 of them, so I figured I'd grow my own willow tree on this account. A 60 Hunter. I've got 45 cooking just from buying sardines, chopping a log, lighting a fire, and then cooking them on the fire. So I need 70 cooking. So that's a pretty decent start. And now I'm going to go and cook some in Kami on the range there. I thought this one was going to be really annoying, but I can actually buy some rolls on the G, and I've just about got them. And maybe we can even make some profit out of this. I went back to KBD on the alt to try and make some money, and a team of like six or seven came in to try and kill us, which was really weird considering there was about 25 of us inside the lair at the time. But people got some decent loot off them. Not entirely sure what they were doing. And then after that, it was pretty late at night for me, but we headed out on a little PK trip to clean up the wilderness. It was pretty fun, just smoking some kids in multi. I know some people don't like to see lots of people piling one person in multi, but I figured I may as well include it. It's an interesting insight into Deadman mode. You don't see any other YouTube videos with this sort of stuff in it. It normally goes on behind the scenes. And I've been really enjoying participating in part of a clan this season. And getting involved in the multi stuff on my rag range alt has been really fun to be fair. Especially while I'm grinding away Monkey Madness 2 skilling requirements on my main account as well. But yeah, we were just fucking around, killing people in the wilderness, even killed flipping Chaos Elemental and stuff. Yo, just got 55 thieving, which is another requirement for Desert Treasure. Not Desert Treasure, Monkey Madness 2. I'm too used to doing Desert Treasure on flipping Dead Man Mode and stuff like that. So yeah, 70 crafting to the last one here. Just need to finish off 70 cooking as well. And then, 60 fire making, and then we can start doing some of the quests. I just missed it, but I got 70 cooking. It's actually for the King of Wogi subquest. I did lobbies for most of it. You can buy them for 250 each, and hopefully they sell for more than that. Well, there's Thursday farming. That means I can go and plant the willow sapling on the alt that I need for Enlightened Journey. Okay, I got the apples just to make sure it doesn't die. I'm going to go to bed after planting this, and hopefully it'll have grown up nice and strong, and it'll be there when I get back in the morning. Five hours later, and it's grown! Give me some branches. Mm, the GE offers could have been better overnight, but that's finished off buying the hides for 70 crafting. And also a couple of logs and potions. 70 crafting has been done. We bought all the hides for 800 each, which is really nice from around 63 crafting. So I've made a decent amount of profit from doing that. And it's enabled me to just solely focus on my main and not have to run around the pyramid on my alt, which has been very nice. Because money sometimes can be a bit tight and I was really not looking forward to this grind. But this is the biggest skill to get out of the way especially with a really slow economy in deadman mode. Hello, Dunstan. This is the millionth time doing Troll Stronghold. Bye. Yo, this shit's really fucking with me, especially when I'm sleep deprived. It's taken me ages to figure out this. But we finally cracked the code. There we go. Eyes of Glyphia done. And that's another requirement for Monkey Madness too. So we're getting up there now. Literally like no logs are buying on the G. There's 60 fire making. I had to go and chop 400... I had to go and chop 400 oak logs on my ult, which was a bit of a pain... But this is a requirement for Enlightened Journey, and the last skill requirement we need to knock out the way for all the quests. Watchtower completed. I probably did this three years ago on my Iron Man, and not since then, so I'm trying to remember a lot of this stuff. A lot of this is from scratch. And yeah, there we go. We've got the Watchtower tally as well, so that might be useful for buying runes or something. I don't actually believe this. You need 30 farming on your main to do Enlightened Journey, even though you can buy the Willow Branches. What is this? Right, so while some random allotment crops grow to try and get me 30 farming, I'm going to do the Recipe for Disaster subquest, the King Awogi one. And basically, I need to do the entirety of Monkey Madness again to get the Monkey Speak Amulet and the Gree Gree. Although it's already completed, they don't give you the items, and you need the items for the carrying on. Finally, it's done. I've got all four Gree Grees to do the subquest with. This has taken far too long. I've been making tons of mistakes today. I probably would have done, done it faster just starting from scratch. And back again with 30 farming, but this time on the main account. 
So now we can go and do a license journey and finish off the last requirement for Monkey Madness. There's a pretty scary skiller in there. So we've got the Ninja Gregory on and we're going to skirt around the side. Come on, it's so small, you won't even see us. Have we made it? Have we got through safely? I, re I just need to do this quest. It's like the last one I've got to do. I've got to go and cook the snake. If I die for my snake, I'll be so mad. Right, hopefully he hasn't seen us. We're so small. He must be AFK in on the statues. Get down there. Right, I think we're good. I think we're good. King Arogi subquest completed. Wasn't too bad in the end. After getting the Grigris. That was the main work for that quest. But yeah, maybe I'll come back here to get rune gloves if I've got time at the end of the tournament. Enlightened journey done. This one's given me so much hassle with the requirements, the item requirements for the branches and all that stuff. But we're done. And then I also just unlocked the roots for the Grand Tree, which you need for Monkey Madness Quest. And now the big one. Monkey Madness 2. All the requirements finally. It's been a while since I updated you on the alt because it's just been sat at sand crabs. It's 85 range. I've literally just been AFK in it. I've been closing the client down, just like minimizing it. And it's finally died about 2 mil range XP later. I've come the tank route. These are the last ones I've got to tank. 29 HP. Oh, that's not a good start. Come on, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, redemption. I've got it. There we go. There's more. There's more. Please. This is the last. That's the last bit. Oh, I'm broke as well. Oh, I died with my cash. I don't know how I'm going to get back. <laughs> what? I can't even afford the sharks to go back. That's a problem. Oh, I got my stuff back. It's still closer. I still need to have to go, go finish this section. I've still got a way to tank yet. I don't really want to eat brews because it's expensive. I'm so poor right now. Come on. Yo, that was a long fight. I was scared of getting one bang, but I just didn't want to brew because I'd have to restore. And it'd be a waste of money. But there's Crook's Paw done. This is not good. This is not good. We're pretty deep in the tunnel right now. I've got two people on me. Level 76 as well. He's probably got decent range. Oh, sh why did I go do that? Snares. I hope they're not in tangles. I hope it is snare. Good job I trained my mage a little bit as well. I've got stams. I can run the whole way. Oh, no. He caught me. This is probably a rival clan, by the way. Just camping to try and stop people doing Monkey Manus 2. This is not good. Oh, Ooh, he splashed. And I've made it out of two brews. It's a good job there weren't more. Have a nice day. Cheers, bro. I'll have a great day. Hmm. Really? Right, the master plan. We've come back with two accounts. Here he is. Come on. Have some of it then, you little bitch. Let's go. <laughs> Fucking pure mission, solo mission. Yeah, you better run away. Right, let's go and do this before they call more people. I've got a limited time to get through this tunnel. He's back. He's back. Come on now. I'll just get off to give you the smoke then. Come on. I'm level 98. My other account's further along the tunnel and I haven't seen anyone else run up, so hopefully he just leaves me alone. Oh, he's not gonna he's not gonna let me talk to the thing, is he? Right. Oh, he must be low food, he doesn't have a gree gree. So I'm just gonna keep simming him. Speck him. I'm scored as well, so if people come I'm dead. And it's multi. Right, got him my other account's have bolted him now as well. So it's time to fuck him up again. Oh, boys, we're putting in the work. Right, if he's running off, I'm just going to do it on this. Then my ult's just going to chase him. Bolt into him. I'm so tired. I made so many mistakes doing this part, honestly. It took way longer than it should have done. Wow. No, it's Neve dying again. R.I.P. We finally made it towards the end of the quest. Just the boss to go, which should be manageable, I'm hoping. It's been a long time coming, man. I'm excited. Shout out to Lip Fletcher for hooking me up with the... Maple longbow, it's the best thing to safe spot the glove with. Right, time for final phase. Wish me luck. Let's go, glove. Come on now. I'm only 74 range, so hopefully that is enough to kill him. It's actually pretty clutch right here at the end. Come on, just hit the hit. There we go, four, finally. Yes, I'm so pleased with myself. We've done Monkey Panthers 2, boys. We've done it on the tournament as well. Oh, it's been a grind and a half. I was so sick of questing. I've made so many mistakes today. It's been a terrible day in terms of progress. Oh, but we're finished. Thank the Lord. And the final ending quest screen. Give me that XP. 
it's over. Monkey Madness 2 has been completed. Cheers for watching this video. This is a good place to end it. Tomorrow, camping gorillas all day. Check me out on Twitch. I'm going to be live killing gorillas on stream. So if you're excited for that, hop on over for the Zenite hunt. We're going for the Ring of Suffering and maybe another Zenite so we can swap it for some good stuff. We're going for the win, boys. We're trying hard in this tournament. No life. Let's do this. Ooh.